Is he so excited? Hi. <laughs> oh, that's a heavy dog. Okay. Welcome to Cooking with Jake. Today we're going to have a redemption round. We're trying gluten-free egg noodles again. Let's see if we can do this right. We learned from the last time. We're going to separate that egg yolk right. We're going to use the whole counter so we can flatten it out. We're going to do it right this time. So we need our flour, salt, and then eggs and xanthan gum. If your flour uh, blend doesn't have xanthan gum, which this one I don't think did. I'm out of breath for picking that dog up. And now look at him. Show him. Apollo. <laughs> Apollo. Hey, sir. I don't know, I need five bags. I only have four. Shoot, dude. Shoot, what do you do? How do you create an egg? Okay. So, minor intermission. Wish I would have taken you with and thought about it before I got back, but I read the ingredients and we need five large eggs. We had four eggs, so I just went across the neighbor's house and got chicken eggs. Produced like that. Booyah. Um, we're, did I say why we're making these? No, I just said we're doing a redemption thing. So we're doing gluten-free egg noodles so that we can make a Doritos cheesy chicken pasta casserole. Calls for egg noodles. Egg noodles are not gluten-free, so we're trying to... Substitute some gluten-free ones. If not, we'll just do some other random gluten-free noodle, but we're gonna try. So we need to do the eggs first. So we're taking, oh, I didn't even show the ingredients. Taking the gluten-free flour, eggs, ah, oh, potato starch. We need xanthan gum, Luna. Xanthan gum. We'll take a picture of all of this. It'll be in the thumbnail, maybe. All right, so we're doing our flour first. We need two cups. Two cups. One. Two. Two cups of gluten-free flour blend with xanthan gum. See, no. Plus additional flour for rolling. What did it say again? If How much xanthan gum am I supposed to add if I don't have xanthan gum? I forgot. No. Oh. This is why we don't follow recipes, because then you feel like you're stupid and you're lost. Half a teaspoon. TSP. Then we also have to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Then you just mix that together. Probably could use a whisk, but I'm lazy. Then it says make a well in the middle of it. Create a well in the center of your dough or flour. And add the eggs and egg yolk. This is where last time I was like, couldn't I just whisk them in a bowl on the side and then put them in the well? But we follow directions the first time, so we're gonna follow again. So we need two, four eggs, plus one just yolk. Alright, four eggs. I am scrambling them separately. Shoot. No, I'll put them in there. It's just so hard to scramble in that bowl. We have the four eggs, then they need one yolk. So follow me over here, we're gonna try something new. I remember last time I just did the toss back and forth. That didn't do anything, I did it right over the thing and so all the white went in there. So we're just gonna crack it into a strainer. We'll see how that works. Cause then you can lift this up and let all that go away. Careful not to break the yolk. Yes, the yolk can't break, but that's not really allowing that to go out. We need bigger holes. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. Can I just grab that with my finger? Okay. Mm -hmm. It might break. What if I... Good job. Sweet. Look at that. Rinse your hands. Don't ask me why. My mom would tell me to. Okay. So then, the 
can go right in with these, I think. Look at just the yolk. That's so funny! <laughs> okay. Seriously, though. Alright. But for, okay. That is freaking cool. I want to do that every day. Okay, so then you put them into the well and then you scramble until, but I just, why can I not scramble them in the bowl? Comment below and tell me why, because I'm going to scramble them in there. Why wouldn't I scramble them in here so I don't have to try to, we don't ask questions even though we do. And remember, we scramble with a fork. So then we're just going to scramble in this little well area. really don't understand this part, but I'm over it. But I'm sure you're over it. So we scramble until well, until whisk the eggs until scrambled, then slowly whisk in the flour to the eggs until incorporated. Okay, I can do that. Those look well scrambled to me. So now we just slowly mix in the flour. Slowly. Love that word. Your slow could be different than my slow. In fact, your slow is. Next one, the dough should come together into a scraggly ball. That's right, scraggly ball at this point. If it doesn't hold together, add another egg yolk if needed. If the texture is too wet, add an additional tablespoon of flour. Okay. Remember last time, remember it did turn into a scraggly ball. So I thought we were on the up and up. mixed a good amount and it's still pretty dry so I think we're gonna do one more yolk this is fun oh also we preheated the oven forgot to tell you that always if you have to preheat the oven or use the oven preheat it prior I don't know if this even gets any of it off but all right here we go again if it was a uh, first time's the charm. Oh, dick, dicks. Well, you know what? It's okay, because we're, this is extra anyways. So we didn't need a whole one. Maybe that happened on purpose because that would have been too much yolk. You never know. Wow, that's very. Well, that one was not as satisfying as the first one. It's still too dry. All right, let's do a good yolk this time, people. Another yolk, unfortunately. But hey, it gives us an out and it says if it's too dry. Do that. I just don't know why we couldn't add some water. Maybe. Yeah, scraggly ball. I see some scraggly balls, but I see a lot of flour. Two cups of flour, yeah. And five eggs. Yeah, the last time this turned out way better. <laughs> this is just. Mm -hmm. See, that's like. Yeah, definitely not. Right. I don't know how the last time I messed up so bad and it works. Well, can I make a ball at least? Yeah, because what do you have to do next? You have to put it in a ball, cut in four quadrants, and then roll it out. So if it's crumbly, I mean, it kind of makes a ball. Mm -hmm. Here, do just a little more water. Yeah, that's much better. I think it's good. Do you like my nails? Okay, we are done. We're going to move on to the next step, which says turn the dough out onto a floured surface and press the dough thorough into a smooth ball. Then we'll cut that ball into four equal pieces and add one piece, sorry, 
Add one piece of dough to a floured surface. Cover the remaining dough with a towel or plastic wrap to keep it from drying out. And then we roll out those little pieces. So we put flour down. Whoa. I don't think you can be too much with this, is what I've heard. I did wash these before I made the video, I promise. But I washed them with bleach, and so I was like, so are we eating bleach now? But I don't think so. I think grandmas and mothers would tell you to clean your counter before you roll the dough out on it. Okay. That might be too much. After I just said you couldn't do too much. Don't forget to flour the shit out of this thing. Get any dirty ideas. It would be really awkward with my mom behind the camera. <laughs> it is. It is, mom. It's not awkward. It is. Mom. And it's not awkward. All right. Now we're just putting it out onto the counter and making a ball. It wants you to roll into a smooth ball. I can't really roll because it's scrambly, so we're just going to keep squishing it. I could try and roll. Oh, look at her. Do I look like a baker or do I look like a baker? So it's in a ball. Smooth, as smooth can be. And then we're gonna cut it into fours and cover the other stuff. It can be with a towel or plastic wrap. I'm just gonna use towel because there's no way I'm getting plastic wrap off now. So I'll cut into four. Swoop. Swoop. We're gonna use one part, other parts cover. And then it says, I think it says to roll out. So roll out one section of the dough on a floured surface until very thin. You can roll it over a floured piece of parchment paper to, pre to, pre to prevent it from sticking to your countertop or a lot of flour. Um, you want the dough to be somewhat translucent. This is what we did not do last time. Make sure the dough is well floured to keep it from sticking to the roller and surface. Everything is very well floured. We're good there. What we didn't do last time was roll very thin. Because we used a cutting board that only allowed us to roll so thin. We're not using cutting boards, if you can't tell. Calm down. I don't think it's gonna look translucent, but I get what they mean. Oh, it is translucent, says the producer behind the camera. And you cut that into slices, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it's hard because it's not even on each side, so I. Remember last time and they just fell apart? Oh my god, did we do it? Oh, it's really thin down on this end. And it's not floured. Did we not put a lot of flour on this counter? My gosh. have a noodle. Okay. Shoot. I was supposed to put these in a... That's what that looks like. Open paper, flour, noodles. And then keep cutting. Oh, I hope these don't stick down. It's okay. That's a noodle size. But there clearly wasn't enough flour in this area, I guess. How? See why I told you you can never have enough? We thought that was too much, and look at us still. All right, so we're still rolling some dough, but while we took a little break, and we got the chicken cooking and the water boiling for the noodles. So take some time in between or get that done beforehand, whatever you want to do. But this has to cook into the casserole. This goes into a casserole dish, and then that goes into the oven for 20 minutes. So. If you're hungry, multitask. Get that stuff done. 
Also, I think I realized we put a lot of dough, but I think when we do this, we flatten the, the flour and so then it gets sticky. So if you can, which I don't think I can, try to like move it around and get more flour, I don't know. Just to try to help it from sticking. It came off fine, but so now we just take your pizza cutter. It's probably too thin down here, but it's thick enough down there. So we'll do this. One done. Get out of here. You guys, I hope these turn out. Oh my God. Still got a little crumbling. It was kind of separating as I rolled, so I wonder if it's drying out maybe, but I just took it a little slower and it ended up being able to reform together, so. You could dump this whole bag of flour on the counter. I don't think it would make a freaking difference. I learned three dough cuts in, just cut it all at once. Okay, so we are done with the noodle parts. We're moving on from this directions. We should have shook that out to these directions. Now we cook our egg noodles per however we need to. And then in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna combine the egg noodles, cooked chicken, chives, garlic salt, cream of chicken soup, rotel tomatoes, and corn. One can of corn drained. So we'll get the pan out. Spray that down. Don't put the, these directions away, you guys. You're not done. You haven't cooked the noodles yet. Two minutes to five. The, the time will depend on how thick your noodles are. You know, I have a stand for books that just sits over there. So while we wait for that water to boil, we're gonna clean a little. The water is a boiling. We just did a little bit of cleaning while that was boiling. Cause it wasn't out of boil yet. So we will add these noodles. Here goes everything. And it says two to five minutes, and I'm gonna stay true to that. So we're gonna, oh God, not like a manicure. We're gonna stay, start at two. And I don't know how many to put in there. I probably don't wanna crowd them too much, so. I put half of them. Oh, half of them. That is too tedious. The last one's in at 135. Um, where am I putting them after? We're gonna give it the full time because I can tell they're still doughy. I know they're rising and they look good, but when I was trying them last time, that was the thing I noticed is they were doughy still. But that's because we messed up and they were very thick. These aren't too thick, so we're gonna let them cook that full two minutes and maybe even an extra, but we'll see. We'll take one out. We're gonna take one at two. Yep, she's gone over. <laughs> it's a steam, it's a facial. Hot! Don't do that. I think they're done, they feel noodly. We're gonna put them all in. Hi. God, you're huge. Oh my gosh. Freaking science, you guys. What happened in this pot? Were they that big when I put them in? Mind blown. You guys, what is happening? Did I put this many in there too? Oh my God, they like doubled, tripled. I gotcha. Keep that water boiling, add in the last half. Start the timer. We'll do 3.30. Okay. 
It's a huge one. That's gonna be even huger. They said a half of an inch. That's an inch. Whoops. We like our stuff big. I just whoop! <laughs> just brought you back to show me freaking out. Well, let's wait a second. I was gonna taste test the noodle in front of you. Oh, but did you get it one off though? So you can eat it so it doesn't get hot from the others? Good. Set it right on top of the chicken. You can, that's not gluten. You're such a good <laughs> How many times have you? Oh my god, those are huge. You guys, we made freaking noodles. <laughs> I think these could be weapons though. Or blankets for children. Band-aids. Tug of war ropes. I see you in there. It's kind of fun, it's like fishing. I don't like fishing, so I don't know why I think that's fun. Hey. Well, she's gonna stand in the. We're gonna turn that off so we don't have to come back to boiling over water again. Let me rinse up. We made fucking nickin' noodles, you guys. All right, I wanted to taste test one with you. That's a noodle, dude. It's a freaking noodle, dude. Wow. That's awesome. No, we like obviously don't have it by itself. But. All right, so now we can make something in the bowl. All right, so now we're just mixing all the ingredients in a bowl, so it calls for three cups of chicken. We got one. Oh, that's hot. Two. They're overfilling because I don't really know how many egg noodles we just put in there, so. You know us, we don't really follow recipes. We just eyeball it all. Oh, good. Okay, that's three cups. We'll stop there. If we want more, we can put more. Don't forget that's a hot pan right there. I'm telling you guys that. And then we have cream of chicken, gluten free. I think I said this before, but I'll say it again. Cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of all those are not gluten-free, so make sure you find a gluten-free version. Found that out the hard way. Oh gosh, why does that look that cool? We need a, why, where, why, why did it clean up? honest with you the recipe calls for one can of uh, cream of chicken one can cream of mushroom your girls made this before and I perfected the recipe to mine and my boyfriend's liking we do not like cream of mushroom we tried it I always try it the way it says I, I don't like it it pulled I don't know it just did not taste good so now I just double up the cream of chicken and it works Much better. Feel free to try with the cream of mushroom though if you don't mind it. Go ahead. Oh yeah. And then one can of Rotel. Oh, I forgot to put this all in. Don't let me throw those cans away. Please. I think it says drained. She's saying, don't drain or I drain? I drain it. Okay. I usually don't, but I thought you would think You lose the flavor. Yeah. And we're gonna mix it all together. Put the egg noodles up here. Make sure everything gets coated. We also need the corn from the microwave and then some of the seasonings, and then we'll put it in the casserole pan. Oh, and the cheese. Cheese. 
it cheese, but it did say drained. Also, it was supposed to be a can, not throwing a bag, so that could be why. Didn't hurt to do that. It smells good. If only you could smell through the camera. I know you can smell. All right, now we're gonna add the cheese. But do we add it all? Oh, you don't even add the cheese. Put it on once again in the casserole pan. So the, just the chicken, noodles, hotel, corn, and cream of chicken go in here. And then this goes in. We've already sprayed this pan. We're just gonna dump. Sorry, <laughs> not making it easy. Don't lose anything. That's why we use a spatula so that we can get it all off. So then spread that evenly around. Recipe, well, sorry, the recipe said to lay half, put cheese, lay half, put cheese. Should have read that clear, but it's okay. We'll just put a lot of extra cheese on the stock. Or you can mix it once it's in there, I guess. And then put it on top. Like mix it up a little bit. But, excuse me. Maybe. Mixes a little well. There. A little bit spread out. Probably add just a little bit more to the top. And then we cover it with foil and we cook it for 20 minutes at 400. Cover with foil, bake for 20 minutes, remove foil, and continue to bake for an additional five. So she's going in for 20 minutes. Make sure you set your timer. And we're good to go. We'll be back when it's done. So don't forget I said we're having a Doritos cheesy chicken pasta. So we have our Doritos and we're gonna crush them because then you sprinkle them on top. So it's the fun part. Fun, 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 fun. Get your anger up. Make sure you put most of the air out of it as a pop. Crushed up. I only use like two thirds of the bag. I don't know, do what you want. Alrighty, she's all done. Oh, let me show you. Gosh. Plated in good. So we we crunched the Doritos, put those on top. Now we're gonna try a bite. So cutting a noodle, noodle, chicken, sauce, corn, rotel, and a Dorito. Cheers. Oh, oh that shit's good. Oh yeah. Ten out of ten would recommend. And if you're not gluten free, just use regular egg noodles. If you're gluten free. Follow that first step and make some gluten-free egg noodles. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on Cooking with Jay.